drift out beyond the planets and tiny bits of dust that still whirl around the sun. Imagine for a moment that you are one of those leftover bits of dust and dirt around the sun. We would call you a meteoroid, something that can become a meteor. You are very tiny, probably no bigger than a grain of sand, but you are traveling very fast. And you are very old, as old as the sun and the planets. You have traveled around the sun more times than you can count, but finally, your path in space has put you directly into the path of Earth, and now the Earth is in your way. The Earth seems to get bigger and bigger as you speed toward it, and you can't avoid it. You're going to hit it, but first you hit Earth's atmosphere, the blanket of air that surrounds and protects the Earth. As you slam into the air, you push against the particles, or molecules of gas that make up the air. You are rushing to Earth so fast, the air in front of you can't get out of your way. The air begins to pile up in front of you. The atoms in the pile of air squeeze together closer and tighter, all the while you are flying faster and faster. Finally, so much air is crammed into so small a space that the air's molecules begin to lose a part of themselves, and in doing so, they begin to glow and give off heat. A glow so bright, it can be seen for hundreds of miles and a heat so great that the outer layer of you starts to boil away. You continue to rush toward the ground and the atoms of air just in front of you, all around you, and behind you give off light and create a long glowing tail. But you never make it to the ground. You're too small and you burn up completely. And when you're gone, the glow fades. And that's the end of your story. As you streaked across the sky, Someone might have seen you and called you a falling star, but you were a meteor, a beautiful flash of light that tails a tail 